Hey, what is up YouTube? So it's been a while since I've posted. I've been going through some things. <laughs> I needed more time to prepare to, before I could go on this journey. So I got a little bit of a different setup and a new deck, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna tap in see what message spirit has for the people watching this video i know i normally do a sign <clears throat> excuse me okay well a star came to mind so if you've been see seeing stars this is a video for you a message for you so where shall we start spirit okay got my bird cards <clears throat> Which I don't think I've used very much on the channel so far. So, oh, sorry, I need to like camera position. Love bird, so sweet. I got this for myself in my own reading, actually. Okay, oh, damn it. Nice, we got 37, 47, that's interesting. And the night jar. Wow. Cool. Right, so I look in the book for the affirmations that are given with each of these cards, and it's pretty amazing. So with the love bird, we have I ask the overlighting consciousness of the love bird to reveal the most loving action for me to follow right now. And the gannet, I call upon the overlighting consciousness of the gannet to help me open myself to the blessings I am being offered. And the night jar, I ask the overlighting consciousness of the night jar to help me master my worst fears. Like, it's like a link between those things. And again, it's what I've been going through also. It's like really opening up to this love energy. And I thought about the star again. Yeah, it's being like the stars in the sky. And there's stars in each of these skies, actually. Literally every single one. Yeah. It's tapping into that star energy. It's... It's knowing what we deserve. It's knowing what we deserve. It's doing the work. And that's the process that myself and everyone watching this video is in. <sighs> okay, that's really cool. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Let's see how it develops. So we got this new deck. Heavenly Bodies Astrology. Lily Ashwell. And it's really awesome. Really helps with the astrology. Okay. And that. Okay. Let's see what we have. Libra. Consideration, fairness, and harmony. Nice. Uranus. Radical change. Radically change. Whoa. Radically change. Oh, okay. North node destined to have, and that wanted to come central, even though that's not how it. Oh, that's cool. All right, it's forming a pattern. Nice. House five, passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. And air, open mindedness, objectivity, and learning. All right, let me sit with this for a little bit. So over here, we have that heart chakra energy, consideration, fairness, and harmony radically change. It's like a combination of trusting that there's change available to you and being open on, enough to work on it. Mm. This is running real deep. And here, look, we got destined to have, and just like the imagery of this card, it's, like, it's very materialistic. 
they're going hand in hand it's like being shone down on right and it's the center of the reading again it's star energy that's what I felt in my mind heard in my mind when choosing the symbol so this is really really important and then this night jar house five passion play children confidence and creativity because this you know there's a lot of darkness here and conquering your fears it's it's hard right and we can see it as a really really heavy task but bring play and creativity into it open-mindedness objectivity and learning like seeing it for really what it is like pain being a necessary part of life and I literally just watched a video on YouTube with CG Kid talking about this and he's an addict who's overcome so much and he's he's so wise like he's really grounded to listen to and he was just talking about this concept of needing pain to grow and I'll link the video because it was really really good to watch actually and we need we need this openness to the growth that we need to do it's inevitable and we need to do it and it it grows us it helps us it evolves us trying to find that light side of it using creativity to achieve it in my case doing things like tarot artwork that helps me and it helps others you know and everybody watching this you've got that too I mean there's actually musical notes there Is having the openness to believe, the openness to believe in it, like this North Node, you know, this is really awesome, what a great message, okay, let's do some tarot, what a great message, oh, okay, what else have you got for us then, please, about this, I heard you did the right thing and it's talking to me and it's talking to all of us right bottom of the deck five of cups interesting okay so there's just this underlying sadness melancholy and I get that I understand that feeling because I normally have that but I've been doing differently these past few days and obviously there are some of you in that similar energy maybe you're like going back down and this is the reading for you to have, like, hope. Okay, this is cool. Let's see. Look at that. Four of Cups with the Five of Cups there. Yes, it's like that waiting for something to happen. That um, <laughs> Waiting for that change. And yes, while that change is coming and Spirit Universe has to do its part, we have to do our part. And I literally got inspired by Venus Return's video to, to do this reading right now but I wasn't planning on doing a reading today but it inspired me that I I needed to, to take the action to I need to meet the universe halfway right there was nothing stopping me from taking the action and I just went up and did it and I need this message and so do the people watching so what else have we got high priestess yes all right so it's we got real spiritual people watching this because like like me deep down you know <laughs> You know all of this, and yeah, you know, three of cups, nice, and look, it's like destined to have, you know, radically change, and it says radically change, not radical change, which is what I said initially, it's like radically implies an action, you've got to do it, incredible vibes, okay, ace of cups, wow, that's awesome. See, destined to have, like, that overflow of abundance, like, emotionally, you know? So it's like the material world, yes, that's abundant too, and it creates that feeling within. Oh, so awesome. Two of Pentacles, it's in your hands. Light of Cups, nice. It's like, yeah, 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 look, see, he's holding the cup, right? <laughs> it's like, I've got the cup, this is my action, I'm taking it into my own hands. And it's like taking action that means something to you. You know, this is all cups energy right here. Oh, this is such a, such good vibes. 
really good vibes for all of you watching this. This is awesome. If you've been seeing stars, oh, yeah, mega, mega confirmation. Um, yeah, okay, we can keep going. What else is there? I've got these little bits of paper. Boop, boop. Boop. <laughs> I don't know why I'm booping. All right, let's see. That's quite a lot. Keep going. Oh, that's so sweet. Keep going. It's like it's easy to get discouraged, right? And that's why this Libra came out with those scales. It's like consideration, fairness, and harmony. Like that is what is being built, even though it might not not look like that. That's what's being built. So just keep going, like, you know, it's like spirit and the angels here, you see, interacting with us on this earthly realm. Oh, so sweet, sweet vibes. Look at that, money, 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 right on this Libra energy. So many of us struggling with money. I mean, it's rough times right now. And it is coming, like, but it's about, it's about taking the, these heartfelt actions, you know, it's not about doing the same thing. We're realising this now in this day and age. We're not, the way we've been doing things, it's not right, it's not working, we need to do something different. And that's this Uranus energy, right, radically change, we need that. And that's what brings the money in, it's what brings, it's what balances the scales. Activate nice, this is like a little bit of like, anchoring magically energy so radically change we're activating that now we're anchoring that down into the earth right now thank you spirit awesome okay look see north node next i let go you see and what i felt immediately was letting go of what isn't you and really spending the time knowing what really is you and what you do really want yeah well, it's interesting that I did it like this. Okay, well, we're going to keep going. Let go of what is not you. Our spirit now. <clears throat> what is my north node? What am I destined to have? And I release everything that's not that. Oh, yeah, I let it go. Radiate, nice. This is an Enter Shikari song. Amazing band. Very activating. Yeah, and it's like, it's a band. Okay, some of you guys just like me. You want to be musicians, and it's literally a song. Highly recommend it. So powerful. Yes. Make music. Don't think about that starving artist bullshit. Like, no. Times are different now. Different. Now is the time. Oof. And we've got this Leo full moon on the 5th of Feb 2023. If you're watching it when I'm posting. Ooh. That's good vibes right there. Just go and do it. Trust. Oh my god, it's another in Shikari song. That's crazy. Hoodwinker, you see, like, another amazing song on this air, it's like, are you, are you hoodwinking yourself, are you telling yourself you can't be this musician, do this, do that, you're hoodwinking yourself, air, this air says open-mindedness, this is so fucking amazing, sacral chakra on top of this gannet, yeah, I just felt like, wow, I needed to, like, heal a bit there. We all need a lot of healing there, definitely. It's like this wounded, divine feminine sacral that's, like, preventing us from really getting abundance because we don't think we deserve it. So we've got to work on that. We let that go, right, because we do deserve it. It's our, it's our north node. All of this is, like, lined up. Might be another card to come then over here. We'll see. Another song, Unbreakable by Anti Flag. Look at that on this night jar. The work is hard. I'm doing the work too. It's challenging. But we are unbreakable, truly. And there is light. There is light. Another great song. I'll link all this down below. Yeah, I'm moving all this back. So obviously. <laughs> meant to be like this okay let's see what this one is third eye nice very nice okay and it's all this purpliness yeah it's um 
you know, we'll do any healing that needs to be for the third eye. Yeah, just all that. Downloads from spirit, healing from spirit, whatever's needed. Whatever's needed to bring us into this amazing alignment. Yeah, alignment. Okay, so we do want another card. Oh, we're taking that five of cups. Cool. Taking that five of cups. And we're going to see. Oh, and we got the judgment card. Karma. Yes. We're making our way through the karma, right? That is legit what we're doing. I'm actually going to take that as well. Because that is what we're working on. Yeah, Queen of Cups and Temperance. I also saw on the bottom of the deck. Like, if it's really hard right now, it's just the karma. Like, we're, we're working through everything. And it goes real deep, 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 deep. Just keep going, keep moving forward. I really felt really good vibes for everyone watching this. It really is okay. Just keep going, keep working through the energy, facing your fears, feeling empowered as best you can. If you have shit days, don't worry, just don't lose hope. Work on the sacral, work on the third eye, that might help. Our spirit to help always, always. Oh, this felt really, really good. Thank you guys. It's good to be back. I really hope to be posting more regularly now because it helps both of us. So really enjoyed it. Lots of love. Stay safe out there. See you next time.